you guys can hear me. As we all lay our heads down to rest tonight, the night before our peaceful rally, let's pray on a few things. First of all, let's pray for Dixie and the pain she endured coming to her last breaths. Mm -mm, I got this. Alone, let's pray she knows all of our love for her and that she knows she did not die for no reason. Two, let's pray for my parents and sister that God puts his hands on their hearts and guides them through this healing process. Next, let's pray for our police officers of Lorraine. Yes, our LPD. A lot of officers know his wrongdoing as well. It cannot maybe just in fear to speak out. They are hurting too. Let's pray for their safety daily. They didn't do this. Palmer did. Yes, I, 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 Palmer has killed my dog, Dixie. I'm sorry I had to say it. They don't deserve to be classified the same category as him. Let's pray for the higher ups in the law enforcement that have been assigned to investigate this case. They have to watch these disturbing videos over and over again to see the facts and pick it apart for what it really is. Lastly, please let's pray for our, for our supporters. Thank you everybody that is supporting us. I appreciate you. Let's pray we can let our cries be heard, avoiding any means of violence whatsoever. Let's pray we can get our message across that we will not stand for this and we love each other and will stand by each other when wrongdoing is done. Lord, please watch over both sides tomorrow that we can host this peaceful rally and still tell our officers that we support them as we hope they can do for us as, as it can be for some. We cannot label the whole group because of one bad person. We love you, Dixie. Let's keep this positive and meaningful. In the heavenly Father's name, we pray amen. 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 Thank you, Tammy. Alrighty, the second thing I'd like to read is also written by Reggie, and it was a plea of no violence and no threats against the officer involved. And it says, Friends and fellow supporters of Justice for Dixie, please understand me and my family do not approve of any violence or violence threats to Palmer. There is a reason we are taking the appropriate steps through the court systems to seek justice for Dixie. I understand there is a lot of heartfelt emotion in this, and we approve of your loving words and support. But please be mindful that we do not want any threats made to this officer. I kindly ask anyone who has or is tempted to make these harmful threats to stop and think it through. That's not making us look any better than him at this point. That's true. We are better than this. So please, let's keep the momentum going in a pause positive I said P-A-W for the doggy paws, positive <laughs> way, and seek the justice we want through the court system, please. Definitely. And that was from Brittany. Definitely. I'd also like you to know, if you didn't see her on Facebook, this story has went international. Yeah! Yeah! It was in the Daily Mail Woo! for the UK, which is the UK's largest newspaper. It has a national following as well. The last time I looked, there were over 3,000 people that had seen the article. So, and there's all kinds of uh, comments from people in the Woo! UK, New Zealand, Russia, Australia, Woo! and a couple other countries, as well as across the United States. Justice for Dixie! Justice for Dixie! That's from Melanie? Yes, that's from Melanie, my daughter. Please make it aware. Thank you. And the very last thing we would like to to read to you all, and I'm going to have a hard time with this, 
because this was making it personal with Dixie to us. It says, Dixie was a well-behaved golden lab. She loved everyone and everything. When she got out, she actively played with anybody who was willing to. Children were happy and excited to see the pup with boundless energy. While well-behaved, she was also mischievous. She taught herself how to open the refrigerator door and loved a good piece of ham or chicken. She would toss herself on the ground on her back in muddy grass after a rain and chase after other dogs in play and chase the water hose and pool. If she left the lid up on the toilet seat, she'd drink from it. She would chase empty tea bottles and bring them back to be thrown again to her. She was the light of our family and loved a good snuggle, even if you were trying to use the bathroom. Anytime, anywhere, it didn't matter. She loved it. So let's celebrate her life. And we're here to do that, to support Dixie, support Dixie's family, let everybody know what we think about the videos we've seen and what happened in the incident and what we would like done. We would like, if the investigation so renders, we would like this officer removed from this police force and possibly charged with some type of animal cruelty crime. Just one other note, there is another group that is having, on Sunday, a vigil at Oberlin Avenue and A Street. Uh, this will be from noon to 1.15 when Dixie was actually shot to death and passed. And that will be followed by a memorial ride. I believe there's like three motorcycle uh, clubs that are going to get together and do that. So, uh, other than that, did Doc Rick Rose show up? No. Evidently not. No. Okay. I asked him if he would. We'd like to hear some thoughts from him. He but since he's not he here, Lieutenant Morris, can I get you to come over and say a few words? Thank you all for coming. Listen, I. I understand the, maybe the awkwardness of it. Look, I'm dressed in a police uniform, and I respect and understand that, you know, there's an active investigation going on. We can't, we cannot, as the police department, talk about the active investigation. We can't give details, and quite frankly, I don't know the details because we separate a lot of that, uh, a lot of that job. But what we are here to say is that we are husbands, we are fathers, we are wives and, and daughters, we are family people, and we are Lorraine. It's great to see the interest. It's great to see the concern from our community. Sometimes it doesn't have to be flattering, but it tells us exactly what, con what concerns our community. I want to offer our condolences to the Kearns family, okay? Regardless of the situation, they're dealing with a loss of a family member. And, uh, and you know, it, it's, it hurts to even say that, uh, that we were involved in that. But with that being said, we can offer our condolences. And, and we certainly, certainly do. I've spoken to the family, um, and, and we, we're trying to be a resource for them as the investigative process rolls out. Without making this you know, about the police department, we just want to offer our condolences. We want to thank you all for being here. We want to thank you all for being heard. And, uh, and we're here if you need us. There's water, there's things uh, that, that we'll do if, if uh, somebody needs help. Please flag down one of the officers, but please stay safe, and we are listening. And we have heard all of the uh, calls and uh, read all of the emails, and uh, all of that is being taken to heart by Chief McCann. So is thank Officer you. Is Officer Palmer still on leave or anything? I know you can't talk about the investigation. Can't really talk about the investigation, and we don't want to make it about us. We really don't. I know that part of it is about us. I understand that. But this is not about us. It's about Dixie. Um, and, and with that being said, I don't want to even open, no offense, I don't want to open the door to the nuts and bolts of this because the focus here should be uh, on Dixie. And again, uh, our thoughts and our prayers on behalf of the entire Lorraine Police Department go out to the Kearns family and to our community that's hurting as well. About how many emails did you all get? Uh, we've had quite a bit of emails. Um, I, I think the gentleman, Mr. Mike here, um, had talked about it. It was international. And, and we have, and we've certainly heard it. And again, Chief McCann um, has certainly been active and involved in, in the emails. And we try to be constructive. Some of them are not so constructive, as you can imagine. Um, and we understand that as well. Um, outrage, hurt, uh, anger. 
But uh, but all of this makes a difference, and we hope that it can make us better in the long run. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. We still have respect for the police department. Yeah, and I don't want to watch this. Yeah, I'm sure. So I would like to say one more thing. Us as a community need to work with these guys hand in hand. And whatever we need to do so another incident like this does not happen, whether it's more training, uh, a different weapon to carry on their belt, because a taser wasn't used, maybe a burner. Do you know about the burner? Is she the little like marbles? Yeah. Maybe a burner. Burner instead of an actual weapon, you know? Even dogs that are aggressive, there should be a way to handle them without shooting them. Okay. Pepper spray, that's another one that's come up. I don't know how dogs react to pepper spray, but we would have to look into that. They go, they run, they lay down or they run. I've seen it. Well, just us as a community, we need to work with our police force. And I don't know, is, is there a citizen advisory board to the police force? So there's a citizen advisory board um, with the police force, typically with use of force on people, right? I mean, Maybe animal and use of force on animals is something that's underrepresented. And uh, maybe this can be, you know, one of the uh, instances that leads to a construction of a board like that. Uh, or, or a group uh, that can advise the chief, that can advise the, the police department. Um, this is this can be the point of growth. But again, I just want to double down that this is really about the current standard. We're, we're here for them. We, as the police, are here for them. We hope to support them and we hope to... You know, in any way that we can ease the ease the sorrow that they're or the grieving that they're going through right now. This is about Dixie, um, but but it certainly does open doors up for some conversations to maybe be had. Okay. Well, thank you, Lieutenant. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And no Doc Rick Rose, huh? Yeah. Kimberly Goddard was supposed to have flown in last night. Is Kimberly Goddard here? I'm Kimmy. Continue to make awareness out here along uh, Erie Avenue. I'm sorry, I thought I was trying to help you out. I was like, I bet his arm hurt. My reporter, I have this missing. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Dixie. Justice for Dixie, please. Rest easy, baby girl. Okay. Hey, ho! Homer's gotta go! Hey. Justice 